today we're going to cover testing the shuttle. As you probably know from the blog, I wrote an article about testing the shuttle. Had numerous requests for me to demonstrate how to test the shuttle and where the shuttle should land. So hopefully you'll enjoy this and you'll learn a lot from it. So here's testing the shuttle. Okay, here I am testing the shuttle. As you can see, I'm stood just behind the back line. We're just going to slow it down for you now. And the rule states that a player should use a full underhand stroke, which makes contact with the shuttle over the back boundary line. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Let's just give you a different angle. So I'm hitting this pretty hard. We're taking the net away so there's no net to obscure the view here. Okay, here's just another angle at normal speed. Now, I've placed a few shuttles on the floor here, and let's just walk you through whether they are the correct speed or not. So the one on the left is bordering on being too fast. The next one is definitely correct speed. And so is the one that's on the line. The one by my left foot is bordering on being too slow. And the final shuttle is definitely too slow. As I said in my article, most players when testing the shuttle would only choose to play with the two on the right hand side or even want a slower shuttle than that. But what I've just demonstrated here is that shuttles that do go past the doubles line are still considered correct speed for playing badminton. So that's the end of this short video. You now understand how to test a shuttle and also you understand which speed of shuttle you should choose to play with. Until I see you next time, bye for now.